Hello, everyone. My name is Holden Hardman. Thank you so much for joining us again today for the finale of WandaVision. This has been a fun kind of mini series within the MCU that we've been doing, our first show. We are going to be going into Falcon and the Winter Soldier after this. But as of now, a lot of fun stuff, a lot of new world building around it. Possibility of the X-Men coming, fan theories. What are you theorizing for the finale based on everything we've seen so far? Based off of what I've seen so far, I think it's going to come down to Vision almost versus Wanda. It would be heartbreaking to see that, but it would also be really, really juicy because obviously they love each other so much and they're quite a duo, but Vision finding out about what Wanda's doing, I feel like is just creating this monster almost um, that knows that he needs to handle this. And I think he's at the point right now where he's trying to do it in a way where he doesn't have to deal with Wanda directly. So it's just a theory. I don't know if that's how it's going to play out, but it would be interesting to see that. I do know that the sword team is also involved. So I don't know how that would factor in. Maybe they're going to be the one to handle it. Oh, there's just so many possibilities, but it's getting so, so juicy. I, I think that the idea of this series is just brilliant. Um, I haven't really seen anything like it. It's almost like the outer limits. Uh, just, it has a little touch of that. So it is very, very juicy, very, very good. So I'm anxious to see it all wrapped up and how it's gonna be wrapped up, so. All right, let's go ahead and get into it. The finale of WandaVision. Look, we've all been there, right? <sighs> Expanding the borders of the false world we created. <laughs> <laughs> Probably just a case of the Mondays. Am I right? <laughs> Where's Vision? Exactly. It's like the office. There it is. Make sure the team has everything they need. We launched today. Yeah, at least you're already in makeup. You're late for rehearsal with the escape artist. Yeah, I'm not great at this gig, I gotta be honest. It was a unspoken understanding. Um hard pass. <laughs> he is not your uncle. Who is he? You were counting on me to have all the answers, right? I have <laughs> no answers. <laughs> I, zip, zero, zip. Everything is meaningless. Jeez. Vision is made of vibranium. They literally inherited tough skin. <laughs> I'd get up, but I just, I just don't want to. <laughs> hey, boys, why don't we give your mom some me time? I won't bite. Mm. I actually did bite a kid once. <laughs> <laughs> All on the same project, codename Cataract. He would want this sentient weapon back. Someone has to tell Wanda. Thank you so much for coming. My mother would appreciate your loyalty. She's not the only one we're loyal to, Captain. She's perfect. Oh. oh, should we take this convo on the road? Excellent. You two are up. Oh. Oh. Sorry, can't hear you. Why? Oh. Do you think maybe this is what you deserve? What? You're not supposed to talk. Feel That's weird. Who is that? A unique antidepressant that works to anchor you back to your reality, seizing your destiny and possibly more depression. You should not possibly more depression. Your doctor because the world doesn't revolve around you. Mm. Or does it? <laughs> You're quiet, Agnes. Do you think her mom is okay? You try telling a 10-year-old that his mother is cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Mm. Oh, my God. Uh. Uh, Monica. Why 
Why is your eyes blue? You put in my mouth. Careful. Take me out. Don't let him make you the villain. Maybe I already am. The worst thing I can think of has already happened to me. Can't control this pain anymore, and I don't think I want to because it's my truth. Wanda, Young you lady. Have to... I think you overstayed your welcome. Run along, dear. No. Don't make me hurt you. It's like Desperate Housewives on crack. I think the Desperate Housewives are already on crack, sweetie. <laughs> what am I doing here? Sitting, talking to you. <gasps> I need to get more life. Aw. God, shoot me. The kid said that Agnes is quiet. Mm -hmm. Where are the twins? They're probably just playing in the basement. Who needs up with Agnes? Why is she not screaming on the inside like everybody else? Well, she was. I mean, remember Vision stopped her from leaving? That was then, but not now. Hmm. Tommy? So, uh, Agnes is a freak. <laughs> to finally meet you, dear. You knew she was way too perky. And I killed Sparky, too. <laughs> Snooper's gonna snip. Salem. That's another place I really want to go visit. Agatha Harkness. Are you a witch? I am a witch. Okay, Winifred. Yet you have betrayed your covenant. You practice the darkest of magic. Enough deception. Poor got it. I did not break your rules. Mother! Please! Please! That's adorable. My thoughts are not available to you, Tuts. Where are my children? Where are my children? <laughs> Only the witch that cast the runes can use her magic. I was so patient. I got close with fake Pietro. Pietro, if you will, but no dice. Necromancy was a non-starter since your real brother's body is on another continent, full of holes. But you're so... Mind control. A classic. Quick incantation. <laughs> Thousands of people yeah. under your thumb. And of course... There's transmutation. Here's a study. You're even running illusions miles away at the edge of town. Listen. <laughs> Awake from this ridiculous fantasy that you'd rather fall apart than face your truth. It's been fun playing pretend for a while, hasn't it, Wanda? But it's time to look at some real reruns. Love the Cold War aesthetic. <laughs> Why are we here? Papa! He threw. He's loud, isn't he? You said the only rule of Wanda! I mean, we're right here. Wanda! 
escucho. Season 2, episode 21. Big Van Dyke again? Starring Big Van Dyke. <laughs> Stop that bomb. Used a probability hex. No, I. It was defective. We didn't know that. A baby witch obsessed with sitcoms and years of therapy ahead of her doesn't explain your. I don't want to go back there. I know you don't. no sense. What happened in there? Little orphan Wanda got up close and personal with an infinity stone. Oh, Wanda, moving on up. I apologize. I don't mean to intrude. Well, I suppose, yes, I did intend to come in here. Well, whatever is your preference. <laughs> don't presume to know what you're feeling. But I would like to know. The only thing that would bring me comfort is seeing him again. It's just like this wave washing over me again and again. It's just gonna drown me. No. No, I won't. <laughs> because it can't all be sorrow, can it? I've never experienced loss because I've never had a loved one to lose. But what is grief? If not love, persevering. That's depressing. Oh. So to recap, parents did, brother did. What happened when he wasn't there to pull you back from the darkness, Wanda? I wanted him back. He deserves a funeral, at least. I deserve it. I have to buzz you in. I got it. Thanks. Wanda Maximoff. What is this? Why are you showing me this? <sighs> what are you doing? <laughs> We're dismantling. I just want to bury him. But I cannot allow you to take three billion dollars worth of vibranium just to put it in the ground. Is he like... Begging her to do this? No, but it seems like he's egging her on. That's all I have. Well, that's just it, Wanda. He isn't yours. Sounds like provocation for sure. I mean, he's like, not everybody has the power to bring back their yeah. soulmate. He isn't yours, Wanda. Fall back. Yeah, what are y'all gonna do? She almost it's bodied fine. Thanos. Back up. Hey, bees. Hey, babe. Oh. So she didn't steal him. She didn't take the body. Hayward lied. At least if you're gonna be all alone, at least you're right in style. Oh, learn piano. That's cool. Kitty. Honestly, I think she probably upgraded the whole town. Really? <laughs> if it wasn't for that whole slavery thing. Goodness. So this is where she like redesigned the whole town. Yeah. Homes and garden would love her. Oh, jeez. So she just created a version of him? Yeah, she just like created him. 
Why wasn't she able to do that just in like One. real life? They talked about how she had never should displayed this type of power before. Well, this is new territory for her. Bravo. It's okay, baby. You're supposed to be a myth. A being capable of spontaneous creation. Using it to make breakfast for dinner. Let go of my children. This is chaos magic, Wanda. That makes you the Scarlet Witch. Nice. They, they said the thing. Oh. All we needed was a little energy directly from the source. What are they doing? God. Savage. I take she absorbs it. Yeah. <gasps> Oh my gosh. Wizard of Oz. Oh my goodness. Is it really you? Wanda. Oh no. And I was told you were powerful. Jeez. Oh goody. Yeah, you yeah, probably, probably. should have. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be vision oh, versus vision. This is awkward. Vision. This is our home. Then let's fight for it. Wanda! Don't waste your breath, babe. Why should we resolve this peacefully? Wanda Maximoff must be neutralized. I know that. <laughs> hey, it's my favorite member of the Bureau. Still under control. As far as I can tell, he's still ours. We'll never be able to cover this up. So there's no footage proving there was ever more than one vision. Only you had a little more vision. <laughs> My friends at Quantico will probably have something to say about your plan when they arrive inside the hour. You're bluffing. Am I? <sighs> Flourish. I I've got a situation and I was hoping you could get here. <laughs> Inside the hour? Do you know there's an entire chapter devoted to you in the dark hole? The Scarlet Witch is not born, she is forged. Your power exceeds that of the Sorcerer Supreme. It exceeds that of Doctor yes. Strange. His name is Sarah. I have a daughter. She's eight. You're making her say this. She's your meat puppet. I just cut her strings. Oh no. I feel like they would actually be terrified of her mm -hmm. instead of like torture. You're Ralph Boner? <laughs> Boner. Oh. oh god, please, spare my life. We've gotta go. I'm exhausted. No, you're fine. You're fine. You're all We have your nightmares. God. Your grief is poisoning us. No, stop. Please, let us go. Oh, crap. Not a good look, Wanda. Not so good. Just let us die. Please. I will. Heroes don't torture people. to this twisted world and now one can't exist without the other. It's a force field. <laughs> Stop by Bath and Body Works on the way home. <laughs> oh, great. Yeah, Incredibles. 
Why are you doing this? My programming directive is to destroy the vision. But I'm not the true vision. Only a conditional vision. I request elaboration. You're really gonna get out of being century. killed. On a technicality? <laughs> She's still gonna drop some. And then shooting these m miners. Oh, that's attempted homicide, my guy. <laughs> you are familiar with the thought experiment, the ship of Theseus in the field of identity metaphysics. Over time, its planks of wood rot and are replaced with new planks when no original plank remains. Is it still the ship of Theseus? Those removed planks are restored and reassembled free of the rot. Is that the ship of Theseus? Both are the true ship. Well, then we are agreed. Perhaps the rot is the memories, the wood touched by Theseus himself. I have not retained memories. It is merely being kept from you. May I? I'm out. Had a quick little chat with him and... Yeah, we're good to go. Good to go. Ship of Theseus works every time. Oh. You did this on purpose. Oh. That's gonna come back. Can't win, Wanda. world you made will always be broken. Only the witch who cast them can use her magic. Don't need you to tell me who. Jeez. So not only is she keeping her power, but she's taking her. Yeah, job. she's taking Agnes's power, and Agnes has absorbed a lot of people's, a lot of witches' power. Very comic book. You don't know what you've done. She just drops everybody like a foot off the <laughs> ground. Just gonna lock me up somewhere? No, not somewhere. Here. I'm sorry. No, you're not. You're cruel. Wait. Hiya, hun. <laughs> Okie dokie, artichokey. I'll be seeing you, Agnes. I know you'll set everything right. Just not for us. No. Big day today. You know, that kid kind of looks like David from Schitt's Creek. Good night, chaps. Good night, Dad. Good night, Dad. Thanks for choosing me to be your mom. It's bad luck to say goodbye in the dark. I just wanted to see you clearly. And there you are. Wanda, I know we can't stay like this. I feel I must know. What am I? You are the piece of the mind stone that lives in me. You are my sadness. And my hope, but mostly you're my love. I have been a voice with no body. Body but not human, and now, a memory. 
made real. And that's what I might be next. We have said goodbye before. It stands to reason. We'll say hello again. So long, darling. Yeah, we're pissed. <laughs> Good old Ross. <laughs> Walmart Ross. They'll never know what you sacrificed for them. Mm. It wouldn't change how they see me. Yeah, no. I don't understand this power, but I will. I'm out. Monica. Authority looks good on you, Jimmy. <laughs> They're asking for you in the theater. I was sent by an old friend of your mother's. He'd like to meet with you. Where? Here's the one. It's got a little cabin. Just finished the season finale of WandaVision. A lot happened here. Some strong feelings from some fans because of a couple of different things. We'll get into some of that. A big part at the very end, Wanda walking around her little cabin, but her astral form was studying some of the books. The closest thing we've seen to that is Doctor Strange while he's asleep studying in his astral form. So Wanda blatantly was told that she is more powerful than the Sorcerer Supreme, AKA Doctor Strange. It seems like that's the case. Before we get into some of the other fan stuff and issues and things, pros and cons that people liked, what did you think about it? I really liked the Scarlet Witch before I saw WandaVision, but I really, really like her character now. I think as far as a female character goes, she's probably my favorite in the MCU. Just overwhelmingly felt for her. Clearly throughout, she just was dealing with an immense amount of pain. And while the ending was appropriate for her to kind of bring the walls down for the sake of the residents, it was sad because I had to relive the ending of her and Vision again. And even worse, now they have offspring. So it was just, it was really heartbreaking to watch that. Hands down, they've been my favorite couple. And just seeing that end again was really, really hard. Uh, especially for Wanda because she already had to witness him passing and her actually being the one to do it. And in a way, it's the same type of deal. She's the one pulling the strings on this. So very, very difficult, but I think it gives so much to her character because she's really been through so much. One thing I liked about this series was they delved back into Wanda's history. So you got to see like snippets of important parts of her life or events, some deeper meaning for her character. So I really enjoyed that. Agnes, I can't say that I knew that she was the role she ended up being, but I knew there was something hanky about her. She was way too perky. So I knew something was off. I just wasn't sure. And come to find out, you know, she's wanting to take Wanda's powers. And I thought that end scene was so good. I was a little worried that Wanda really was giving up her powers, but sure enough, she didn't. For me, I felt like that was a, a really good fight scene without them actually fighting. I enjoyed Monica's role. It, I mean, it, it added to the series, but it wasn't, she wasn't one of my favorites. I actually liked Wu better than I liked her character. But in general, I, I liked all the main characters a lot. Really glad that I saw it. It did not disappoint at all. And um, yeah, I liked it a lot. I do want to mention the one thing that I didn't like. I did not like how the two visions basically just had a little powwow chat and everything was all good again. I understand like the logic behind it, especially because Vision's character is very logical, you know? So it, it does make sense, but I wish, 
that scene would have been more elaborate. It was kind of a letdown. I was really just expecting like, oh my God, it's gonna be vision versus vision. That's gonna be, and they did do that a little bit, but I thought there was gonna be more of that. Not them just going in a building, talking for about 10 minutes and everything is all good. That was kind of strange to me. But as far as the entire series goes, that's the only complaint that I have. I remember initially watching it, loved the vision versus vision fight stuff that they showed, but wish there was a little bit more of that. Uh, I liked the whole conversation inside when they got to the whole ship of Theseus and, then, and Vision releasing all the original memories and that white Vision is still out there. He just flew away, so how's he gonna come back? Some of the issues that some people had, I was kind of among them. I've heard that a lot of our complaints, especially near the end, the Vision fight being one of them, was actually due to COVID because that's right roughly when that was happening. So productions on movies and shows was either stopped completely or severely cut down. So I felt like Monica Rambo at the end was just sort of dropped off. I feel like they, they had set her up and they were setting her up for a lot more. They gave us like some glimpses of her power to ultimately in the end, lock her into a room with Quicksilver. Quicksilver is another thing. You know, he was actually Ralph Boner the whole time, Gosh. which ticked off a lot of people, mostly just because their fan theories weren't right. A lot of us were expecting a X-Men connection and ended up just being a, a boner joke. As far as the X-Men stuff, we're left back at square one. We have no idea how or if they're going. Well, we're pretty sure they are gonna combine the universes. You just don't know how or when. But I was a little let down by that. I wanted to see him be Quicksilver. Like you, I loved it. My only gripes were small nitpicky things, hardly worth mentioning. I would have loved more of the Vision fight, like I said, but really, really great. I was super impressed. It's the first Disney Plus series. It's, got, it's a limited series, I guess. That was the series finale it says on here. However, we do know her story will continue in Doctor Strange 2, the Multiverse of Madness. So Doctor Strange and Wanda, I have no details, no idea what's gonna happen, but I do know it will continue with them and that with Sam Raimi directing. That's probably my most anticipated phase four movie that's coming up. I think that they also did a really good job of showing her powers. The fact that she had no limits, really, that's what it felt like to me. Towards the end there, especially when she was defeating Agnes, it literally just felt like, oh my goodness, she is so powerful. It was terrifying at times, especially like in the meat of the series too, when you think about what she has really done. She's taken an entire town and at times expanded that radius and had the town under her complete control and created this entire different world, basically. And to me, that's terrifying. As far as like power-wise, like that's, that's insane. And the fact that she really could do anything, I really, really liked it. I, I love her character a lot. So I'm hoping to see more of her in the future. If you enjoyed this video, leave it a like. It helps the channel out a lot. Comment down below letting us know what you think of WandaVision, the finale, the X-Men, Quicksilver, Monica, White Vision, Vision versus Vision, all that fun stuff, along with some of our thoughts and comments as well. Consider subscribing if you wanna see more fun content like this. Also consider joining my Patreon to get early access to select videos just like this one. As always, we appreciate you watching. We'll catch you in the next video. Take care. Not you.